we were supposed to talk about this at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. That's what I was trying to tell you. Oh, well. All right, I, here I at the top, it. we have a player on the team, Team Liquid. He is none other than Crystal Ranger or Liquid Hawk. There we go. Oh! So forget you heard anything about an announcement that's going to be made at the end of the broadcast. Now you guys are all hyped up. Anyway, here is our Korean player. Joined the new team recently, the new star Hoso clan. He is... Dennis Hoso-san. Dennis Hoso-san, representing the Hoso Academy. It's like a school that has like a pro StarCraft team. <laughs> There's the blood donation guy. All right, so the map, of course, is on the caverns. And this is the map where I think the most standard PvP gets played. You gotta play it safe, there's an easily defended ramp, there's Zelnaga watchtowers, the natural is open so it's hard to expand, and this is the PvP. The PvP that has to be played here is the PvP that people complain all the time about. So you have to play a certain way or you'll die, but you can play safe, you can play standard. Both players doing some scouting, Cux comes in here with his probe. Some dub it the hero probe, look at it now, it's doing some harassment. Oh yeah. Clicking That's on those stuff. minerals, making the probes walk extra distance. Oh, look at him. He tagged that probe. Blocked the cybernetics oh, blocked core. Blocked the cybernetics core blocked twice. Blocked it again. <laughs> Hero probe. Yeah, you'll get a shot of it on the production tab. This cybernetics on. core is actually significantly ahead now. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Um, very clever by Huck to know that core was going down there. Huck taking his flashy second gas again. Making it right in front of San's probe. So I'm gonna care. reply and make his own second gas. Uh, yes, indeed he does. Um, yeah, and this is the third match. It's the third game, rather, of the match, whatever you want to call it. So I, I don't expect he'll go for something risky like DTs again. I don't you, think so. You either. don't want to take a risk in this kind of a situation. You want to play um, as safe as possible. Probably gonna go. Both gonna go for the robo attack. Although Sauna has the second gateway up already. Huck's still on one gateway. Stalker's gonna pop out and kill that probe. And now we're really gonna see what Huck is up to. And it's another gateway, and a third gateway, and a fourth gateway. All right, so, so Huck, Huck is, is going to be, be four gating. Four gating. Jinx! Son is sticking with those two gates, making just stalkers. And this is the thing about, look at that Hux not mining from his second gas. And this is what, I actually do this a lot on the ladder. If you make a second gas, your opponent just goes, oh, fine, he's not four gating me, whatever, I can do whatever I want, I can cut units. Huck doesn't mine out of the gas, I actually just put one probe in the gas now. Okay. Slowly adding those probes in. But now he's gonna be able to get a ton of stalkers out off of four gates, and yeah. Son, and even, I mean, the, the simulator doesn't cost very much, and if you don't devote probes to it, it doesn't set you that far behind. Yeah. You can get out extra sentries, though. You can use sentries in your four-gate attack a little bit more and uh, if you want to. And Huck, he's got a couple pylons on the right side of the map, it looks like. Yeah, Nothing he's actually going to try close. to catch these stalkers. One, be, one, one on one in the, oh, in the middle. middle of the map. Does take one of those stalkers down a little bit in shields. So he's ahead in that regard. Has that first pylon oh. up. He's warping units in over there. Warping units in and a pylon morphing in the natural as well. And Son, Son's gonna have only to make has some two sentries. gateways. He's got one sentry. He's gonna have to realize what's going on here pretty soon and make some more sentries. Oh, they're coming in from the side. And I don't think he knows what's coming yet. I don't think he, he knows at shown, all. He hasn't shown all the he's stalkers yet. Now he does. The ramp now. He's gonna block. Oh, he's gonna kill the stalkers. Force build fails. Failed. Force build does not block the stalkers. He's still not able to get up that. Okay, it does actually block some back. I'm sorry, I thought it was able to crawl up the side there. Uh, but this is not over yet. So Hassan was making a dark shrine and he canceled it so he can get some more sentries up, but he's on cooldown right now and the force field's about to fade. Oh. Huck comes in, he's gonna warp in more units on the high ground, and Son totally messed this up. He could have held this and easily. The sentry goes down, the zealots chopping away at the probes. Stalkers killing stalkers. Liquid Huck is overpowering Son's face, and the foreigner, Liquid Huck, is going to take out Son. A quarter finalist, a semi finalist for previous seasons to advance to the round of 32 if he can keep up this pressure and keep up his micro. 
The Zealots of Son are driving those Stalkers back. He's got two injured Stalkers. They could get targeted down. But this is looking really bad for Son. Actually, Huck is losing a lot here, but he did warp in those extra Zealots, which are going to go to work on those probes. That's the crucial thing. And once you get those Zealots out killing the probes, that's when things get really bad. And it looks like Son is finally going to start being picked apart by these last two yeah. Stalkers. He just killed so many probes there as well that Son can't really even afford to make as many units as Huck can at this point. Still only the three gateways for Son, and Son GG's! GG's! And leaves the game, and Liquid Huck advances to the round of 32. Oh, he gave us a little shrug of his shoulders there. Nice. Shrugging it off like it ain't no thing. Very nicely executed. Sean playing it very weird there, trying to get a Dark Shrine out really fast. Yeah, you know, I was like, oh, they're not going to go for something risky like a Dark Shrine. He goes for a Dark Shrine. Yeah, I was thinking, like, okay, I was thinking he knows Hug's four gating. He sees all the units. He's going to back up, make, like, two centuries, get the Dark Shrine out. If he holds the four gate and sends DTs, he'll be fine. And I was like, he's great. He's got this. He, you know, he knows exactly what's coming. He sees he? the Stalkers, but he, like, he saw all the Stalkers. He saw the pylon. They just, like, left his Stalkers outside to die. They, like, slammed the Did door he? on him. They I couldn't come inside, like, clawing at the door. I don't think he knew he was four gating. Well, he he saw, he knew because he saw all the stalkers out on the base. He saw the forward pylon. Oh yeah, yeah. At that point, when, when you he see saw that all many stalkers, stalkers, you gotta know it's a four gate. Like where are those stalkers come from? It's true. He didn't. He I think it was just a response time thing where he just didn't run. Yeah, he just like enough. didn't. He was like trying to make the dark shrine. He's like, do I cancel this? And he panicked. Oh, partier. <laughs> Huck's getting his party hat on. He got the win. Right. The Korean well, commentators there. The last time he uh, won was in his up and down yeah, he matches. Did the he, it was his birthday, so he had a little celebration. So that's probably what that's. That's all about. So, uh, wow, so Huck taking it out. Now, by the way, so to clarify a little bit, there will be an announcement soon on GOMTV.net. Yeah, we got we a lot of, like, conflicting we messages. We are not making the announcement. You should still follow GOMTV on Twitter. Yes. For but other the, stuff. the announcement But the announcement be on, will be on GOMTV.net yeah. very soon. And it's We've about the GSTL, the Team League. It's going to be a very important announcement. I actually know what it is. It's a secret. I'm not going to tell you guys. GOMTV.net's going to tell you guys. That's right. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at the results for today's matches again, just to review. Startail Bomber wiping the floor with Killer, his old friend from Eastro. Yeah, crazy Absolutely second game. Absolutely owning him. Nesty almost falling, but did in fact beat OGS Cezanne. And Colt Prime taking out Lucira. Again, I think just outplayed him there. And Liquid Huck catching Son in game three with a nice little four gate attack. Deer in the headlights face. Uh, and of course, uh, we're going to be off tomorrow on Sunday, but on Monday, Taste Doses will be back to tell you about what's happening with Jinro versus Line, Kyrix versus Bon Bon, will be interesting, and Junwi versus Virus, Koka versus Nada. I am so excited to see Koka versus Nada, actually. That's, that's going to be, be pretty that's awesome. That's going to be off match. the hook. Um, so definitely tune back in then. And uh, we've had some great games today and this entire tournament thus far, so make sure. You tell your friends to go drop the 10 bucks to watch the VODs because there are some excellent StarCraft games available for video on demand viewing. Yes. So remember, GOMTV.net will have an announcement soon, which should be posted to the Twitter as well, but it will be on the website first. It's about the GSTL. Sorry for all the conflicting information we gave you guys there just for a second. But get excited because I'm excited. I know about it. Moltrap knows about it. But you guys are going to know, know about it soon. I know. It's pretty awesome. See it? It's right here. It's on the tip of my tongue, but it's not oh. coming out of my mouth yet. Can't see it either. What's that? You can't even see it. Oh, yeah, it's there, but you can't see it. I need to. I need. I need to do this so they don't. So they don't accidentally see the secret. All right. Anyway, thank you guys very much for joining us. It's been some excellent games. We hope you enjoyed them as much as we did because we certainly did. This is the GSL Super Tournament. Tune back in on Monday. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs>